A propeller with a diameter of 3 metres produces a positive thrust of 4450 newtons at 45 metres per second under standard sea level conditions. And we're given the density there at standard sea level. And we're asked to determine the maximum efficiency and the pressure difference between atmospheric pressure and the pressure immediately in front of the propeller. Okay, so this is the, these are the formulae that we uh, derived in a previous video. And let's just see what we have. So uh, we have the thrust, which is T. We have V, which is 45. We have the diameter of the prop. Uh, from that, we can get the area S. And we have rho uh, here. So we have T, V, and D. So from the diameter of the prop, we can get the radius of the, uh, the disc. Sorry, we can get the area of the disc, which is just pi r squared. And that works out to be 7.068 meters. So I have all the um, variables here in, in black. What I don't have is the variables here in, in um, green. When I multiply them out, I get a squared plus a. And then we can just rearrange this equation. We have a squared plus a is equal to t divided by 2 rho sv squared. When I plug the values in, uh, so the t is 4, 4, 50. We have 2 with the density. We have the area. We have the 45 from the v here. That will give me a value of 0 0.1268. And when I bring that to, to this side, we get a quadratic equation. Okay, so this is just a standard uh, quadratic equation. To solve that, we will use uh, this formula, the minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. Um, it can be a bit confusing here, maybe. Uh, we have uh, a variable a, and then we have a value a here. Well, this, just to, to remind everyone, this A refers to the coefficient in front here. So it's this guy. So that's 1. That's a 1. So that's my B. That's this A here. And this is C. Okay, which is this value here. So when I plug them into uh, the equation, I get... Uh, a to be 0.113 or minus 1.113 and we always take the positive value uh, a negative value gives me a meaningless number for efficiency so we take the positive value of a and we pl plug that in we get an efficiency of uh, 90 percent okay so that's uh, that's what the efficiency is so that's this part of uh, of the question answered the next uh, part is a little bit more intricate, and it, um, refers back to how we derived this equation. So you may have to look at that video. So, um, <clears throat> so if this is our propeller here, and we're looking in at a, a side view of it, so that's the propeller, and we're just looking in from this side. Okay, so the air is coming in, the air is coming in at a velocity v, which in this case is 45. Uh, this is our standard atmospheric pressure. It comes in and then, you know, the air, as it comes into the propeller, speeds up by this inflow factor a. So the velocity here is v times a plus 1. And if we have an increase in velocity, we'll have a decrease in pressure. So there's going to be a pressure, uh, a pressure change across here. So um, we'll begin by giving the energy equation. And this is just Bernoulli's equation without the height because we're assuming it's, it's horizontal. So we're just saying that the static pressure here plus the dynamic pressure at this point is equal to the static pressure here plus the dynamic pressure. Uh, we're assuming incompressible flow, so we're saying that the the density doesn't change. 
Okay, so I, I rearrange that, bring the P1 to one side, and bring this over here. I get this equation. So this is the pressure difference. Okay, so this is what they're asking us for, the pressure difference. So we just need to plug in the values. We have V, we have rho, we just need to get VO squared. Okay, so which is the velocity in here. The velocity in here, uh, as I said, is uh, V times 1 plus A, this inflow factor. We calculated A to be one, to be 0.113. So VO turns out to be 50.1. Going to plug that into this equation. So I've just taken half rho out. And that works out to be 296 pascals. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that solution. Uh, it wasn't too difficult in the end.